Hi! Welcome to our math tutorial. Ang pag-uusapan naman natin ngayon ay radical equations. DNA's Eddie Corner Ang radical equation ay isang equation na may radical the variable or unknown quantity. Alamin muna natin kung ang mga sumusunod na equations ba ay radical or not. Ang una nating equation ay x minus the square root of 3 is equal to 9. Ito ba ay isang radical equation or not? Tama, ito ay hindi radical equation. Ito ay may radical pero hindi siya radical equation dahil ang ating variable ay hindi radicand or wala siya doon sa ating radical symbol. Next equation, we have the square root of m plus 3 is equal to 21. Is it a radical equation or not? Answer is radical equation. Dahil ang ating variable na m or unknown quantity ay nasa loob ng ating radical symbol or ito ay radicand ng ating radical. Next, we have square root of 3 is equal to y. Ito ba ay radical equation or not? Tama, this is not a radical equation dahil ang y ay hindi radicand or wala ito sa loob ng ating radical symbol. Last equation, we have 7 times the square root of x minus 5 is equal to 4. Ito ba ay radical equation or not? Answer is radical equation. Dahil kung mapapansin natin, ang x or yung variable ay isang radicand or nasa loob siya ng ating radical symbol. Bago tayo mag-solve ng radical equation, make sure na ang radical na may unknown quantity or variable ay naka-isolate. And then, i-combine natin ang terms na kailangan pang ipag-combine. And then, raise natin both sides of the equation to a power na kapareho na sa index. And don't forget to check the solution. Now, let's have our first example ng pagsusolve ng radical equations. We have cube root of x is equal to 2. Since naka-isolate na ang radical na may variable, maaari na nating erase both sides of the equation by 3 dahil ang index ng radical ay 3. We now have the cube of the cube root of 3 and 2 cube. Cube root of 3 raised to 3 is equal to x. At ang 2 cube or 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. Now, we check natin ang nakuha nating value ng x which is 8. Using the given equation, cube root of x is equal to 2, i-check natin ang solution. I-substitute natin ang 8 sa x sa given equation, it will become cube root of 8 is equal to 2. At ang cube root of 8 is 2, which is equal to 2, na nasa kabilang side. And therefore, ang 8 ay solution ng cube root of x is equal to 2. Ang ating next given ay 4 root of x minus 6 is equal to 2. Sa ating given equation, naka-isolate na ang radical kung saan yung variable or unknown quantity ay isang radicand. So, maaari na nating erase both sides of the equation by 4 dahil ang index ng ating given radical ay 4. Kaya ito ang gagamitin nating pang raise na power sa parehong side. So, erase na natin both sides by 4. Magkakaroon ngayon tayo ng quantity 4 root of x minus 6 raised to 4 is equal to 2 to the 4th power. Since mayroon tayo ditong power na 4, inerase natin ang radical na ito kung saan ang index ay 4, ang matitira na lamang is yung x minus 6. Tapos sa kabilang side naman ng equation, we have 2 to the 4th power, ibig sabihin 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and that is equal to 16. Ngayon, isolve natin ang x. Para masolve ang x, gumamit tayo ng addition property of equality. Kailangan x lamang ang maiwan sa left side ng equation. Therefore, mag-a-add tayo ng 6 
both sides. So we have x minus 6 plus 6 is equal to 16 plus 6. And negative 6 plus 6, this is 0. May iwan na yung x dito sa left side. And 16 plus 6, we have 22. So ang nakuha nating value ng x is 22. Sa pag-check, gagamit tayo ng original equation. So we have the fourth root of x minus 6 is equal to 2. Yung nakuha nating value ng x na 22, gagamitin natin pang substitute dito sa x ng ating equation. So magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng fourth root of 22. Yung x, pinalitan natin ng 22. Minus 6 is equal to 2. So 22 minus 6, simplify muna natin yung radicand. That is equal to 16. So magkakaroon tayo ng fourth root of 16 is equal to 2. Ang fourth root ng 16 ay 2 which is equal din sa 2 na nasa kabilang side ng equation. Ibig sabihin, nag-satisfy yung nakuha nating solution dito sa ating given radical equation. Therefore, the solution of 4th root of x minus 6 equals 2 ay 22. Itry naman natin isolve ang cube root of m squared plus 4 minus 2 is equal to 0. First, we have to isolate the radical with the unknown quantity, or cube root of m squared plus 4. To do that, kailangan natin gumamit ng addition property of equality. Para ma-eliminate ang negative 2 sa left side, kailangan nating mag-add ng positive 2 sa parehong side ng equation. Negative 2 plus 2 equal na ito sa 0. At sa kabilang side naman, 0 plus 2 is equal to 2. Na-eliminate na natin ang negative 2 sa left side. Ang na-form na nating equation ay cube root of m squared plus 4 is equal to 2. Pansinin na naka-isolate na ang cube root of m squared plus 4. Maaari na tayong mag-raise both sides ng 3 dahil ang index ng radical ay 3. Quantity cube root of m squared plus 4 raised to 3 is equal to m squared plus 4 and then 2 cube or 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. Ang equation na natin ay m squared plus 4 is equal to 8. Now let's continue. Since we have a quadratic equation, maaari na nating isolve ang given using any method. Pero gamitin natin ang factoring method. Gawin nating 0 yung isang side ng equation. So para ma-eliminate yung 8 sa right side, mag-add tayo both sides ng negative 8. Now we have m squared plus 4 minus 8 is equal to 8 minus 8. 4 minus 8 is equal to negative 4. At sa kabilang side naman, 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. Humanap tayo ng dalawang numbers na kapag pinag-multiply ang sagot ay negative 4 or constant term, pero kapag pinag-add ang sagot ay 0, since wala tayong middle term or linear term. Ang mga numbers na ito ay positive 2 at negative 2. Positive 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And positive 2 plus negative 2 is equal to 0. So ang factored form na ng m squared minus 4 is equal to 0 ay quantity m plus 2 times quantity m minus 2 is equal to 0. nag lang tayo ng dalawang quantity and then may m sa bawat quantity since we have m squared. Tapos nilagay natin yung dalawang numbers na nakuha natin na positive 2 and negative 2. Let's solve for m. Gumamit tayo ng zero product property. Kunin natin ang m plus 2. Equate natin sa 0, ganun din ang m minus 2. Now, may equations na tayo na m plus 2 is equal to 0 at m minus 2 is equal to 0. Unahin natin ng m plus 2 is equal to 0, kailangan m lamang ang maiwan sa isang side, kaya gumamit tayo ng APE or Addition Property of Equality. Mag-add tayo both sides ng negative 2, so sa left side, yung positive 2 minus 2 is 0 na. May iwan na ang m at sa right side, 0 minus 2 
is equal to negative 2. Therefore, m is equal to negative 2. Next, yung m minus 2 is equal to 0 naman. Mag-add tayo both sides ng positive 2 para ma-eliminate natin ang negative 2 sa left side. So, we have m minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0 plus 2. Now, let's simplify. Negative 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. As sa kabilang side, 0 plus 2 is equal to 2. Therefore, m is equal to 2. Ang nakuha nating values ng m ay negative 2 at positive 2. Now, i-check natin ang mga ito. Gamit ang original equation, i-check natin ang negative 2 at positive 2 kung magsasatisfy sa given equation. Cube root of m squared plus 4 minus 2 is equal to 0. Palitan natin ang m ng negative 2 muna. We have cube root of quantity negative 2 squared plus 4 minus 2 is equal to 0. Simplify muna ang radicand. Negative 2 squared is positive 4. And then, 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. So, magiging cube root of 8 minus 2 is equal to 0 na ang new equation. Ang cube root of 8 is 2 tapos 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. We have 0 which is equal to 0 sa kabilang side. So, tama ang negative 2 na solution. Ngayon naman, isubstitute natin ang 2 sa m ng given equation. We have cube root of 2 squared plus 4 minus 2 is equal to 0. Again, isimplify natin ang radicand. 2 squared is 4 plus 4, kaya magiging 8 ito. Cube root of 8 minus 2 is equal to 0 na ang new equation. Next is, cube root of 8 is 2 minus 2 equal ito sa 0. So, 0 is equal sa kabilang side na 0, kaya tama rin ang positive 2 na solution. Therefore, the solutions of cube root of m squared plus 4 minus 2 is equal to 0 ay negative 2 or positive 2. Now, let's try to solve word problem involving Pythagorean theorem. Ang ating problem ay a 10 feet ladder leans against the wall. If the bottom of the ladder touches the ground 6 feet from the base of the wall, about how high is the top of the ladder from the base of the wall? So, ito yung ating illustration. Take note as a Pythagorean theorem, the square of the length of the hypotenuse or longest side is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of two legs. Illustrate natin ang given problem gamit ang right triangle. Ang hypotenuse ay 10 feet or longest side. Remember na ang longest side or hypotenuse ay opposite or katapat ng right angle. And then, ang legs ay yung base na 6 feet at yung missing na height. Gagamit tayo ng equation na a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared kung saan ang a at b ay ang mga legs at ang c ay hypotenuse. Suppose na ang missing leg ay a, kailangan ma-isolate natin ang a sa isang side. Gumamit tayo ng APE or Addition Property of Equality. Mag-add tayo both sides ng negative b squared. So we have a squared plus b squared minus b squared is equal to c squared minus b squared. Matitira ang a squared sa left side since b squared minus b squared is 0. Then sa right side, we have c squared minus b squared. Ang new equation natin ay a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared. Kuhan ni natin ang square root ng parehong side since ang goal natin is may solve ang a. Square root of a squared is equal to a. And sa kabilang side, we have square root of c squared minus b squared. And therefore, to solve the problem, ang gagamitin natin ay a is equal to square root of c squared minus b squared. 
So again, gamitin natin yung nakuha natin kanina na a is equal to the square root of c squared minus b squared. So ito yung radical dito sa equation natin. So palitan natin ang ating mga variable, yung c at saka yung b. Ang c is the hypotenuse, kaya naman ang ipapalit natin dito ay 10. And then ang b is yung isang leg, kaya ang isa-substitute natin is 6. Ang ating bagong equation ay a, kung saan ang a ay yung nawawalang side or yung height. Ang a is equal to the square root of the square of 10 minus the square of 6. E simplify muna natin ang ating radicand. 10 squared, that is equal to 100. And yung 6 squared, this is equal to 36. Kopyahin muna natin yung minus sign. 100 minus 36, this is equal to 64. Therefore, we have A is equal to the square root of 64. Kung mapapansin natin, gumamit tayo dito ng square root property, pero hindi na natin gagamitin yung positive negative. Dahil, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito ay measurement, kaya hindi tayo maaaring gumamit ng negative na value. So, A is equal to 8 because the square root of 64 is 8. So, ang ating final answer is 8 feet. The ladder is 8 feet high from the base of the wall. Kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, huwag kalimutang pindutin ang like button, mag-subscribe, at i-hit ang bell button para sa marami pang videos.